month in a row, Colorado's marijuana industry continues to see a decline in sales. The Colorado Department of Revenue reports medical cannabis sales dipped to their lowest level on record. News 5's Mayo Davison is joining us live in the studio to explain some of the reasons behind that decline and how it's going to impact the economy. Mayo. Yeah, Diane, this is not just a statewide issue. Here in Colorado Springs, our 115 medical marijuana dispensaries have overall seen a 35% decline in sales since last month, and some shop owners are worried. 420 is typically one of Dabarado's busiest days, but not this time around. My long-term customers are only having, are only being able to come in uh, once, maybe twice a week, whereas they were coming in five, six days a week before. Brian Tuck has seen a steep decline in sales since February. Due to the potency limits and also HB 1317, which has uh, all but crippled the medical marijuana industry here in Colorado Springs. The new law limits the purchase of flour and concentrate. Tuck says inflation is also playing a role. People don't have as much money as they used to. According to the Department of Revenue, medical marijuana sales in the state dropped from 32.2 million last year to 20.3 million this year. If you restrict the, the amount that somebody can buy, yeah, there are going to be individuals who, you know, that maybe restricts the, the, the total amount that they end up buying uh, within a given time frame. But really and truly, if somebody wants more product, you know, they might ask their sister or their brother or their friend or whomever to purchase for them. So UCCS economist Tatiana Bailey believes the main reason behind the decline is more states legalizing the drug. The more that you have states legalizing, uh, sort of the, the more that the pie is being sliced in, in more pieces. She expects the trend to continue as more states make it legal, but she doesn't expect a big impact to the economy. It just isn't as much money um, as, as they thought it was going to be after you incorporate some of the costs associated with it. Moving forward, we need medical and recreational marijuana sales here. Uh, it's going to bolster our economy. Dabarado doesn't think sales will get better either. They believe it won't until recreational marijuana is legalized nationwide. Diane? Mayo, thank you.